Hey, what's going on out there guys? This is Wayne and today we are checking out a Kaba 3000 or this is a 3001. Uh, they basically operate exactly the same as the Kaba Simplex 1000. Uh, the customer tried to change the combination and they basically put it in passage mode or combination lockout mode. So basically you can turn this all you want and it opens. You don't have to put anything into it. Uh, so this is a pretty common thing that can happen. Um, you know, it even happens to me. It doesn't matter how many times you change the combination on these locks. Uh, you'll turn the wrong way or, you know, something will happen and, and you'll end up locked out. Uh, this is one of the older ones, so it will not have the luxury of the uh, viewing windows. So basically what we want to do is pull this apart right here, take the back off. It just basically slides down and then slides out. You can see these two pins go into here, just like so, in, out, off. <clears throat> the next thing we'll need to do is get some snap ring pliers, just like so. And we're going to take this snap ring off. This is the chamber, this is the snap ring. That one. Okay, got it right there. I'm gonna set that down. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull the linkage off. basically kind of push that out of the way. And then you're gonna have two more little screws down here. You're gonna have one, bink, and two way back up in there down here. Basically the same position as this one is, just down here. <clears throat> this little screwdriver works perfect for these. It gets way down in there. Now, Kaba does have their own video on this as well. You can check it out at kaba.simplex Kaba video, something along those lines. Um, and I think there's also a video on YouTube as well. Uh, but for now, this is what we want. That comes out. Grab your screws. The buttons are now gonna be free, so they will fall out. You can see <clears throat> if you tip this over, they will fall right out. Okay. Alrighty, so we're just going to set that aside because this is what we're focused on right now. Okay, so we have to take off the three-sided desk plate. Hmm. I'm have to take that little washer off. You have to take the washer off. And this looks like it's pretty much just pressed on. So the three-sided desk cover is one two, three sides, right there. <clears throat> so we're not gonna be taking this cover off. One of the things I like to do right away, right off the bat, um, is when you hold this and the little spark plug thing is at the top, let's go ahead and get our numbers in value right now. Starting with the top, closest to the spark plug looking thing, is the number one, then two, then three, four, and five, okay? Just like so. One, two, three, four, five, all the way down. Very simple. And get a screwdriver. We're just gonna kind of pry gently on this dust cover here. At least that's what they call it, a dust cover. Do not stab yourself with the screwdriver. <clears throat> Basically, they're just crimped. You can see it's just kind of crimped right there and there. Come on. 
Let it go. I still hate doing these today. They're just exceedingly irritating. <clears throat> Come on and give me just a little bit. The new ones will have windows, so you do not have to take the desk cover off. Boy, I'm gonna stab myself really good with this screwdriver here. Just barely crimped on here. Ouch. <sighs> I mentioned I hate these locks. How am I going to get that stupid thing over there? Usually they'll just kind of pop off by now. So that'll start to come apart like so. Basically just get you enough room to get your screwdriver under there. <clears throat> and then it'll just kind of pop out like so. I'll probably have to re-bend that a little bit. I'll wait till we put it back on. Okay, now that that's out of the way, the lock is in our hand. And we can see... You're also going to need a little pair of pliers or vice grips, something along those lines. <clears throat> and you'll be grabbing onto the front shaft, like so. Uh, for now, we've got these windows, or, well, I guess it's not the windows, but um, we can see the gears now. This is where the window would normally be in the new models, to where we don't have to go through that to take off that dust cover. Uh, these are on, you know, 2000... I think 2010 and older locks. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in there. Um, so let's see, this one right here, it looks like everything's already lined up. Okay. <clears throat> so what you wanna do is, is you wanna make sure all these windows are lined up. Window, 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 window. <clears throat> And by the window, I'm referring to this little spot right here in the gear. That's going to align with the L-shaped piece that's going to allow us to reset the lock. Okay, now from here, <clears throat> we push the button down. Okay, see, so we pushed, <clears throat> we've pushed the spark plug looking button down. Okay. And you, I guess I'm forgetting one step. I, I was thinking we'd have to decode this, but it was just in in a <clears throat> in a loss combination or open mode. Uh, to get these little wheels to line up properly, you you enter the combination. You actually look at them and you see the wheels that are actually already lined up, and you exclude those from the combination. So if you have one and two lined up then these here are the only ones that you're going to be dealing with and you simply push the button of the value for the furthest wheel away. So you look at this, <clears throat> you exclude any of the ones that are already lined up with the, the window and the L-shaped piece and then you look for the one that's farthest away. If there's two exactly the same distance, those two are going to be the same button. You will push that and then you'll push the next furthest one away, depending on how many digits there are in the code, until you get it to all line up and it's in this position right here. Once it's in this position right here, you can then continue the process for changing the lock combination and resetting it. Um, 
we just didn't know exactly what it was what it was doing when we showed up here okay so now that we've got that on there we're going to hold this in our hand we've depressed the spark plug looking thing here and you can do that just by pushing on that or with an actual screwdriver <clears throat> and now we're going to take our pliers from the front okay from the front because you can do it from the back too there's a little shaft you can grab onto on the back but you have to decide which way you're going to do it because the directions will be different um, so we would go counterclockwise I'm thinking ouch okay so let's see if this works so we're going to go counterclockwise and let's see what happens okay counterclockwise yes and then it's going to come back <clears throat> enter the new combination which i need to find out what i'm entering here okay And you're going to want to hear that click. <clears throat> Enter the combination, and then we're going to go, so I've entered the combination into here, and then we're going to go ahead and go clockwise with this. I'm just showing you on camera so you can see all the fun stuff that's happening. Click, and you can see all those windows begin to move and voila we have reset it now if we have done it properly and this is what I'm talking about <clears throat> so if we were trying to guess the combination to this uh, I wish that would focus a little bit better see if we can get it to focus in here maybe not <clears throat> Okay. Let me get it to focus now. There. Okay. So now we can see the windows. Okay. You can see the windows. This one is going to be the furthest one away. Okay. I can see that it is turned the furthest away. So when we're trying to decode this thing, that is what we're going to be looking for. Then this one is going to be the next furthest one away, and then this one. So the combination is 5, 1, 4. Click, click. Now, all of these windows are all now nice and lined up. Okay, and so when we turn <clears throat> this, it will let us in. Don't touch anything. Got it. Okay. And what did I do? clear it again okay. okay so we're all lined up again and then boom when those L pieces go into the windows that means you have granted access okay that's how this whole chamber system works <sighs> so now we're gonna put this all back together and hopefully this thing will continue to work. Now we gotta put that desk cover back on. Mm. Okay, we'll put that desk cover back on. And I'm going to 
bend it back the way that it was. Okay. Take my little screwdriver. I'm gonna do this with one hand. Basically. Hopefully that'll be enough for right now. <clears throat> Actually, you know what's gonna be your friend? Mr. Snappy right here. Yes. Because we don't want to put any pressure on the buttons. The buttons have to be down to reset this dust cover. See? Perfect. See how that right there at the top bink. And I'm gonna put one more in it on the actual piece itself. Maybe a couple here. To just hold it into place. Mmm. Okay, now that doesn't want to come up over there. And this one seems to be all good over here. I'm going to tap that down just a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and tap this back into here. Okay, so we want to make sure that these little bits here are poking out. All right, so now that should be tapped back in there. I'm once again gonna go ahead and use my little tool, a little snapper deal, to make sure that it's in place. And snap the little tabs. <clears throat> so it doesn't come off again. So we have to do this again. All right, so that's it held on there. I don't know why that stupid camera will not focus on that. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have that set back in there, we're gonna take spark plug piece at the top, like so. Oh, numbers down, duh. <clears throat> yeah, the little number signs are going to go against the little number signs here. Screw. If you get a little bit of a magnetized screwdriver, that's really going to help. Because that does not, it's not a convenient fit. Okay. And the bottom one. Mm. Okay, that's all put back together. We need our little washer bit. That's going to go right in there, just like so. Washer bit goes right there. <clears throat> I need all of that stuff. Okay, so then this piece is going to go on and fall down in there to the abyss. All right. <clears throat> okay, that piece goes back on, that piece goes back on, just like so, and now, when we push, what was it, I lost it already, I have one four, I think, yep, yeah, five, one and four, and then by golly, all the linkage moves, 
and then it goes back to not moving. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. You can see the knob turn, turns clockwise, just like so, okay? And then it comes back, and then it does not allow you to open it again. That is how you reset the Kava Simplex 1000s, the 3000s, uh, any of them that have that mechanical chamber, that is gonna be the way to do it. Uh, the new ones, you don't have to stab yourself with a screwdriver a few times to get the dust cover off and back on. Uh, they already have the chambers out in the hole. Same exact process. Start with the wheel that's furthest away, line them all up, decode the lock. Once you have the combination, reset it following the steps. Thanks for watching. Check out Wayne's Lock Shop. Wayne's Lock Shop, we strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from rekeying high security locks to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between. Safe openings, car openings, installation tool reviews, and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths. If you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business, then Wayne's Lock Shop is the place for you. Please sign up today at waynesLockshop.com. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.